These are bullet holes left over from the Second World War. And they're everywhere in Berlin. Dude, they even shot at the Red Baron's old grave. I have an American education, so I thought the Battle of Berlin was like something I'd seen in a World War II movie, and it only lasted like three days in a couple of blocks in Mitte. <laughs> I was wrong. It went from April 16th to May 2nd, 1945. When I first started coming to Berlin in the early 90s, they were even more prevalent. In fact, if somebody asked you for directions, you would say, Turn left at the building with the machine gun spray. Then turn right at the red brick building with the bomb shrapnel wounds. And then past the brown building with the pink graffiti and the bullet holes. And it's right next to the church with the bomb damage. Dad, no one ever said that. A lot of people see them as the visible scars left over from World War II. And for a long time I wondered why the bullet holes seemed to bother me more than anything else, like a visit to a museum or a concentration camp. And then finally I realized that with those places, it's easy to compartmentalize what happened here in World War II. But with the bullet holes, they're there every day. <laughs> Jesus, I sound like an asshole. Sometimes they've been left out of neglect, and other times they've been left as a reminder of the horrors of war. Sometimes they've left the bullet holes as a reminder, and other times they've left the entire facade of a wrecked train station. <laughs> The bullet holes are so pervasive that at some point, you stop noticing them. And it was only when I started filming this video that I realized how many have disappeared. Like for example, I was going to come out here and show you this cool crater that was created by a bomb in the sidewalk near my house, only to discover it's been filled in. Most of them have been plastered over or the ones you can still see have been filled in. Like here, on the Romanian embassy in Mita. Or the Brandenburg Gate, about 500 meters away. They said when they repaired it in 2002, they filled in like 30,000 bullet holes, which is too bad, because I used to like to stand here and look at the bullet holes and think of everything this gate has seen since it was finished in 1791. That's a lie, because you couldn't actually stand there back then. At that time, you could still drive through the Brandenburg Gate in a real-ass car, and it was a major thoroughfare because it connected the Strasse der Siebzehn Juni and Unter den Linden. I'm not the only one who noticed they were disappearing. This is the Neues Museum in Mitte. And when they re renovated it in... They protected all the holes under historic preservation laws. So now, they'll be here forever. Or until they change the law. They were fighting in the graveyard. 